right. Come here, cutie. I like that. So, we'll use this flesh worm. Okay. Ooh. dodge into him. Gotcha. He's done. I should probably do something about this health, though. My health situation is not the greatest. that guy. I'm pretty sure that's the same mutant that killed me last time. So could have gone worse. That's quite scenery there. I'm gonna switch to gun. See if we can't just take these guys out from behind. gives them super armor some of the time. I wonder if it's like a random chance of staggering when they're in in the middle of an attack or something like that, or if it's based on some sort of enemy stats. Or maybe I'm just overthinking it. It's entirely possible. Ooh. Five some stamina and then backstab. Nice. What's my... Okay. My inventory is not full yet. We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, that's... End means... Actually, let's stay... Stealthed. Just for a moment longer. Okay, we'll go up this way. That's a way out. Got him. It had to be done. I had no choice. He made me do it. Okay, let's move a little closer. I get them both at the same time? That would be nice. Yes. Oh. All done. Got him. Alright. I'm out of energy weapon. Maybe I'll switch back to the shot the the old rifle. I do have the shotgun as well. I have a sawed off shotgun. I don't know if that's better than the regular shotgun, like I was saying before, but maybe I'll just use that for a while. I wonder if that uses... Which which of my skills that uses. So there's the small guns, and then there's the rifles. Neither of those include shotguns. Or so they seem. There's this cave here. Is there anything else we can... Okay, there's more stuff to get here. Wood. Actually, can I interact with this? What does this do? 
does seem to be functional, but I don't know its purpose. There's an item to collect here. I'm just going to leave that there in case I end up with a full inventory before I get out of this cave. There's a wonder shroom. There's another mutant dude. Nice. No, as far as early access games go, the combat is very satisfying in this. It's like... It's a weird sort of combination between Hyper Light Drifter and Dark Souls in pixel form. And you can, you can feel like... It's not 100% there, but it's like 99% there. It's pretty good. Just the animations look good. I like the way that, you know, it has a little movement indicator. Even though the sword really moves too fast for you to see it. It takes a little getting used to. There's, is there an auto aim out option? There probably is. I would prefer to keep it off though. Controller aiming help. Okay, that's for the controller. Player health show number. Input. Mouse cursor lock. Mouse input in combat. No point and click. Roll towards mouse cursor. Yeah. There's that. Okay, I was thinking that maybe there was a way to make it so that your character always aimed at the closest enemy. Which might not be something you want to do, really. Exploding bodies. Permadeath off. Yeah, we're leaving that off. Enemies have better stats. Enemies rotate and shoot faster. See, I'm not sure what that means by enemies rotate. Unless they mean, like, enemies rotate between weapons. Oh, there's a bunch of booze bottles here, but I guess that means they're empty. Oh, Wonder Shroom. I like how I like having the press Presta show map. Whoa! I looked away at the wrong time. <laughs> Alright, let's let's go. Let's go boys. Gotcha. Whew. That was rough. I look over because my my chat application timed out for a moment there for some reason. But I do seem to still be connected to Twitch. At least I hope I am. Okay, nice, nice. My internet is kind of being flaky right now, so... For those of you at home watching live, I apologize if you're having some issues. Because it does seem like issues are being had. But I'll carry on, and I'll end up uploading this to YouTube. Yeah, it seems like I'm connecting. Okay. It's just maybe not the best connection, that's all. I hear more enemies. is there here. Last trash. Okay. Let's try to save my shotgun blast.
Ah, you got me. Dang it. Yeah, that happened. Oh, I forgot I have I have a worm that I could use. Backstab you. Pick that up. Pick that up. Pick that up. Oh. Try that again. Got shotgun ready. No reload needed. Get them both in one swing. Rest now. I like that. Alright. Just scooped everything everything up real quick. And no more sh no more shock blasts. If I throw this, got you. Ooh, I'll do like three, three in a row. more stressful than it should have been. <laughs> Look at my health. Goddamn. Alright, I'll eat a little bit of this meat and try to carry on as much as I can. Who's acid mug? I was gonna say, maybe this is something I can drink to heal me, and then I realized, oh yeah, no, that's a bad idea. It'd be hilarious if it gave you the option and then it just killed you. Okay. Zircon? Still not quite sure what the significance of zircon is. That seems like an oddly specific type of mineral to just have giant crystals of crystals of everywhere. And kind of lying around the giant mounds of flesh. Oh. I'm gonna do a quick save because we're low on health. Nice! Wonder room. Cool. Those seem to be useful. They're good for those focus energy items, but I feel like that that almost makes the focus energy way too expensive. What is this rock? Is there sig okay, there's no significance to this rock. We'll check out the right side of the cave. And then we're probably good to go. Oh, there's a bed. Somebody live here? I guess that maybe they lived here, whoever that is. Interesting. This seems like the sort of thing, like, it might be related to some future quest that gets added to the game later. Probably not something that's available now. Man, I just realized my clock is dying. I need to get a new battery for it. No. Oh. Seems like I must have gotten disconnected again at some point. That's unfortunate. Okay, and there's that item that I left behind. We'll get it this time. Zircon. That will come in handy. Maybe. It, it could come in handy. I don't know if it will or not. 
I'll head back to Taurus. Before we move on towards the peat bar. Alright. Taurus. So. Maybe we should talk to Mortis again? I don't feel like he'd have anything new to say, though. The whole Oracle mission is probably done with. I don't trust the machines, the sun is always there. Strangers everywhere. Is that Agira? Yeah, it is too. Weapons. Let's get more rifle. More rifle ammo. Actually, I can make rifle ammo now. Can we make grenades, though? Probably not. What should we sell? Sell the plastic. We have two old rifles. We don't need both. We're still going to keep one of them, though. We're not going to keep the sword. We're not going to keep the club. We're not going to keep the pistol. I'll sell the bullets. We'll keep the rifle bullets and the shotgun shells. Canned food. Plus eight health. Factory sealed and long lasting. The vegan. I see. So if you were going to do a vegan playthrough, that's what you would be eating. That's how you'd be getting through the game. And that's the first time I found that. In in two play sessions, I found one can of food. Anything else here worth buying? I have lots of wonder shrooms. Maybe I should just make some. Well, no, I'm not gonna make any focus right now. Maybe grip. That is for melee weapons. Doesn't seem like there's any modifiers for other types of weapons yet. Now that we got some money, let's buy some implants. Legion of Flesh. Summons a Legion of Flesh. The more enemies, the bigger the Legion. That's the most expensive implant there, so it's probably pretty good. And is it already equipped or no? Resources, body. Yeah, equip. Item requirement missing. Oh, I need occultism. Dang it. I think I saw that and I just let that get glossed over in my mind. This image is forever yours. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fan of this game. This is pretty awesome. Well, we've, we've run into one quest that has a dead end that needs to be added onto. So I'm looking forward to that happening. I imagine that the Oracle quest is kind of like a primary quest that you need to do to beat the game. It's not even really clear what your objective is in the game, other than to do something about this infection you have and try to figure out what it means and how it relates to the world. Which is kind of cool in a way, because, you know, it's taking something... It's actually, that is kind of similar to Dark Souls in a way, too, because in Dark Souls you have the, the um, whatever you call it, the Ring of the Undead branded onto you. And it's a part of you, but it's also a part of the world. And in this game, the infection kind of seems to be the serving the same purpose. So it gives you some sort of personal connection to the world even if you don't actually understand what that connection is. Which is, you know, kind of just is meant to be mysterious, I'm sure. Ooh, what is this? Somewhere we're probably supposed to go through. Crossroads. Oh, nice. Ah. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're going to go back. 
we're gonna go back to Taurus. I, I, want, I wanted to go restore my focus there at that one machine thing. And I totally forgot. Kind of curious about that monster or that that red dot that seems to be circling around old trees as well. Do I move a little bit faster when I'm not carrying a weapon? Seems like maybe I do. Cool. So that is restoring my shock. I don't have an easy way to restore my health the same way, unfortunately. Maybe I can get an implant that gives me health. Or lets me heal, rather. And then those focus those focus stations would also be healing stations, effectively. There's probably stuff up here I want to explore, too. That almost looks like a ship or something. Well, let's go back to Crossroads for now. There's some stuff to explore in here, which is cool. Okay, there's dudes. Go this way, we're still low on health. Yeah, low on health. <clears throat> All right. Well, is that a mine? Is that what they look like? I saw it flickering for a second there. Let's find out. Nope, that wasn't a mine. Let's go back to that thing that just blew us up. Oh, okay, yeah. So that looks similar to the mines that we saw before. Can I walk by it while I'm stealthed? No. If you step right on it, then you blow up. Okay, good to know. I appreciate that you drop all of your items where you die, too. Which kind of says to me that... You and the enemies have the same inventory system. You carry items the same way. Ooh. Fuck you. Gotcha. Nice. So the enemies, when the enemies start swinging, they can't correct as well. So, someone with a heavy weapon like that, you just get in behind them, do your attack while they're still in the middle of theirs. And then they're helpless, basically. Ashes to ashes, flesh to flesh. That's weird. I think that might be the first time I have, like, a little bit of dialogue for a dead body that I just happen to walk across. I'm gonna have to do something about the healing situation, though. Okay, yeah. I can heal. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's hard to tell, but it seems like maybe the... Maybe the bandits also have the same sort of... Like, um, appearance system. Because it seems like they all have distinct appearances. They don't get alarmed or anything by seeing their their dead friends, though. That might be something that gets added in another update. But what? I can't attack you? Why not? Why can I un why can I not attack you? Oh, okay. I just didn't get the highlight that said backstab. And you're just friends with that mutant there, too. 
See, I'm not quite totally sure if I understand that either. Because these people seem like normal... Like, they seem like bandits. Like, they're just dudes. So it doesn't really make sense why they're hanging out with mutants like that. I just picked up. Okay, got that hammer. I got this mask of understanding. Interesting. I think... Let me see something. That looks... Okay, it doesn't look the same, but it looks similar to this dude here. the dude in my screenshot and just in case you're wondering this is just a screenshot i got off of the St steam community page like on the day that this game released i didn't have any context for this screenshot and i like passed by a couple of spoilered screenshots that were blacked out for me and this is the first one that i've seen that wasn't what the spoiler that wasn't spoiler tag so i just downloaded it just to use as a, a splash for the stream It looks like that mask is similar, but the colors are different. This one is red and white, whereas the other one was like purple, like bright neon purple and black. Let's try it out. Can I wear it? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it looks like when you're wearing it. There's quite a few enemies here to kill. There's four right there. Maybe more. Did I grab a flesh worm? No, I did not. I was thinking about grabbing a flesh worm on my way here. Maybe I don't want to kill. I don't want to fight with all these guys. I do want to kill all these guys, but... Oh, there's something going on over here. Okay. Oof. Come on. Don't die, don't die. kind of playing get playing at cowardly there but hey can't argue with the results that is another one of those dudes nice so what's up with these i can't collect them or anything there's some more of those gribbles is that what they're called glippers oh hey eat Are you just staring in that wonder? Okay, no. You're turning around. There's been a couple of times I thought I found an enemy that was just pointed in one direction, but it seems like most of them kind of do a little bit of wandering around. Once in a while, I'll find a patrolling enemy, but they don't seem to happen that often. Maybe those... well, no. They're just, they're just kind of wandering. As well. Ooh. I don't think I need to kill these guys, but I feel like maybe there's something there to discover. Okay, 
what's up with this thing? The flesh is bound to the weave with barbed wire. Okay. So it's just a descriptive thing and it doesn't actually do anything for me. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Sorry. But that board game. Sorry. Like, a game that actively encourages children to be sarcastic when they apologize, which is great. Man, yeah, Twitch servers are not treating me well right now. See, there's a couple of times where I, there was a long drop in frames. Seems fine now, but I don't know. It is 10 o'clock now. I'll play for a little while longer. If it seems like there's more problems with the stream, I might have to quit. Just, you know. Just to be fair to the live audience. I don't like the idea of streaming with bad quality. Nobody can actually watch it live. It's kind of like, what's the point at that point? 